Okay, HPs are doing fine. Yeah, suck it. Oh, dude, he dropped a sword. Dude, this guy's fast. Where's my parrot? Dude, I can't even hit him. What is up the world? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things. Back in Breakwaters, ladies and gentlemen. And on the first episode, we did a cursory kind of overview look deal of what's going on in this game. And there is a lot more to it. Yes, uh, I've also been streaming this on Twitch.tv slash Slipgator. And we've learned some pretty unbelievable and amazing things. But for right now, our adventure continues here on the YouTubes. Make sure if you like the video you see today, please don't forget... Show your support. Hit the thumbs up, thumbs up button. Uh, if you're new, subscribe for more as well. Look at that guy over there. Let's pop inside of here. What are we doing here? Locate the Titan Stone ruins of one of the large islands in the area. No. What? <laughs> he just says no. That's all he says. So what we're trying to do now, I do believe, was we had to summon. We had to use this boat flare to summon this boat. And then it was going to cost us 13... Uh, crystals in order to get to the next island. Now, we don't have 13 crystals, and one of the cool things is that when you summon the boat, which costs you, what, two crystals uh, and two of the red coral, I do believe it is. Yeah, fire coral. Uh, it, it doesn't stick around. So, we're going to have to get 15 crystals, but now that being said, oh crap, and you know what else? We've also lost our crafting table in this playthrough. Because spiders destroyed it. So we've lost that as well. We are very, very low on health. Um, we're probably going to need to do the builder's bench. To, let's just be honest. So we're going to need to build the builder's bench. And then there's some other stuff and things we're going to have to do as well. So let's go ahead and grab some, some of these guys. We need to grab some of these guys. Can we get some branches here? The tree branches, not the sticks, which are actually different. Don't forget. Uh, let me see here. How close are we? We need six more. And now we should be able to build this builder's bench once again. Now our inventory is quite full. I'm going to go ahead and drop this bone. We're going to build our builder's bench. And then we're going to place this in a safe location. Can I place this up here? So this is probably a little bit safer than where I had it. So we'll place that guy right there and we'll go ahead and use it. Now, check it out. We need some HPs and I know a way to get some. Down over here, this hammock. So I need 15 total seagrass and four more tree branches. We are also getting a little bit low on food and water. So, water, we can do this. Is that going to be... Dude, that's all I got. And then the food, we're going to need to get some berries as well. So, 15 seagrass and... What was the other thing that we needed? Some tree branches. And we should be able to pop down here now and construct this bad ombre. And check this out, guys. Right over here, I'm going to place this guy down like this, I guess. Again, I want it to be kind of up and out of the way. So that we don't have a problem with spiders. And if you look in the lower left-hand corner now, check that out, ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do to regenerate your health is build a little hammock deal and then you lay down. There's no actual sleep. You're just going to chill out and uh, regenerate your health. It does take a little bit of time, especially when, well, we were really, really low on HPs. Um, so we needed a lot of them. So the next order of business, now that we've got... I, I got a little bit of food. I got a little bit of water. I'm going to have to focus on some more food and water, I think. Let's go ahead and two, three, four. Let's eat all of that. So the next order of business we're going to need... That's our demo hammer. Let's move that guy maybe over there. The relic can move over there. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff that we could build with this, by the way. There's also... Wait, what did I just pick up by accident? Oh, that stupid note deal I don't need. All right, hold on. We'll squirt that guy over there. But yeah, there's all sorts of stuff and things that we can build here. But what we're going to focus on right now instead of building is just gathering up food. And then we need to make another flare. And then we need to have um, 13 additional crystals. So for right now, food, water, and crystals are all I'm going to be gathering. So I've only got four crystals. But... I, I feel like we're wasting some opportunities here. I really want to go to this next island, but there's so many things that we could do right here. Like, this hardened shell axe. I mean, I could build this right now. Uh, this leaf hat, for instance, just takes some seagrass. I could totally do it right now. Um, let me see here. There's crates that I can make, too. That seagrass and tree branches. We could do it right now. I don't, I don't necessarily want to set up a base here because I feel like we're going to be leaving. But at the very least, like, the leaf hat. I don't think I can get the bone armor. Dude, this bag, if I just had 15 seagrass, I could make this net bag. You know what I mean? There are some stuff and things that we could do right now. 
Um, that hat too, I think it actually is functional. It says here, reduces dehydration rate by 50%. I mean, that's kind of unbelievable. Like 10 seagrass for that. Uh, and then this guy, a little bit more seagrass. You know what? Let's just gather up some stuff and then maybe we'll do a little bit of crafting um, of some items as well. We're not just going to go for uh, just get the uh, to get the flare and just try to get off the island. We have the opportunity now to do some other stuff and things. So we might as well take that opportunity and utilize it. All right. So we can take that guy out. There is, I got to tell you too, there is a lot of inventory management in this early game. There's just like huge amounts of stuff that I'm always throwing away. Um, I guess I could make the flare right now. That isn't really going to save me any inventory space. Uh, but I could go ahead and make that boat flare like that. Um, that just replaces the coral I had in my inventory uh, with the flare. Uh, and then maybe... I don't know what the uh, crystals stack to. So maybe that was a good deal. But uh, yeah, seagrass, we need huge amounts of it. Homesteading, plus 10 max hunger. So I think that means maximum food has been increased. That's what homesteading does. Interesting. All right, we'll grab a bunch of the stuff. So like, here's a bunch of seagrass. How much, how high does the seagrass stack? Oh, at least 17. 20. So we keep saying inventory full. Okay, so we got 20 seagrasses as high as the stacks. The other thing that I'm learning is I do believe that all the items that you chop down or the mobs that you kill and the stuff that lays on the ground, I think it's all persistent in the world. So I think it lasts forever. Uh, so stranded deep, here we come. All right, leaf hat, inventory full. Did it go somewhere? Oh man, okay, there, oh, wait, is that it? Yeah, that's gotta be our leaf hat right there. All right, hold on. So let's go ahead and drop like uh, these yellow shards. Um, and let's go ahead and grab our leaf hat. Okay, and then let's go ahead and equip our leaf hat. Look at that, look how amazing we look at our leaf hat. It actually is really, really good. 50% less um, hydration issues is kind of next level. What do we need in order to make that bag? I think more inventory slots is kind of like super, super duper important here. Where was that guy? Right there, the net bag. So five more seagrass for the net bag. We probably could just hop over here and grab it. It's turning out to be night. It's gonna be nighttime soon. We got our seagrass. I'm gonna pop over here real quick and just preemptively, we're gonna drop all of that on the ground because I think we're gonna need a slot for this. We are going to go here, net bag, and then we will go like this. And then we have a little bag on our back. And, oh, baby, so many inventory slots. All right, so there's these crystals here. And then, you know what? The nighttime is the right time for gathering up the crystals. Let's grab that bone. There's this crystal, too. I don't know if that was a big one. No, it was a small one. So it's going to be a little bit hard to see, obviously, in the nighttime. I'm going to move you like this, you here. Now, let's put our relic up there. Dude, the organization. Dude, we have, I can't even believe it. We have organization. I'm going to put those up there. These like this. This is where uh, we'll go like that, like that. That's where our coconuts will go here. But yeah, so now it's nighttime. We should be able to see where the crystals are much, much more easily. And I think I grabbed them all on this little part of the island over here. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to go across to one of these guys. Let's go over this way. And I apologize. Is that a chicken? Dude, that thing looked purple for a second. I apologize if it's hard to see at night. Um, oh, is that like bioluminescence for me swimming? Okay, that's pretty cool. So I apologize if it's hard for you to see at night. Oh god, no, not this guy. Hold on, hold on, get some hits. Just take the hits. Just take the hits. Tank! Tank it! Tank it! Okay, we tanked him. Nothing happened. Uh, so yeah, it is the, uh, right time to be harvesting things. Oh, what's going on over there? I'm attacking that boat deal? Oh, what's this? What did I just get there? Tree sap. Oh, is that from this? Palm logs. And then tree sap. Okay. I don't have a use for tree sap yet. And so I can just drop that on the ground. I can always come back and get it if I need to. Okay. There's four of those guys. So let's see if we get a heads up on this guy. How many hits we can get before he starts to attack us. We're going to attack by the crab too. Oh, man. All right. Let's go ahead and grab the shells as well. Because the axe, I do believe, takes three of those. And we might be able to make that better axe. So I actually already have the hardened shell axe. Uh, but anyway, so we don't need to build that guy. But I've come back over here to gather some HPs. Because over in that area where we were going... Oh, I got a second heart. Dude, I didn't even notice. 
I think I must have just got that when I was gathering up some stuff and things. So I think it was from attacking bad hombres. I got a second heart. This is going to take a minute for it to charge up, but that's okay. So we already have the hard shell axe. Can I look at my inventory while I'm sleeping? Okay, that's bad. Ass. Uh, that, 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 that. Let's put these guys up in here. The palm logs we can drop. Dude, I can drop while I'm sleeping. It's amazing. We are completely out of food and water. We only have five yellow crystals. So we're going to get all of our HPs back for this fight. And then let me just double check over here and see. There are better weapons. Yeah. Okay. So the stone axe. We, we would need redstone, which we haven't found any of yet. The crab sword. Okay. With two more crab shells, we can make the crab sword. For right now, let's see here. If we can find a couple more crabs like straight away, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Where there's one right here. They don't always drop shells. Like you, as you can see. <laughs> Uh, let's go fight these guys. We should have all the things that we need. If we can get up there. They're right over this way, I do believe. It was nighttime when I came over. Yeah, I can see them from here. Hey, what's up, chicken? Let's go over here. And there they are. I mean, I think they're bad guys. They look bad. They're, like, dressed in dark colors. They have a cannon. They look bad. Let's go. Oh, yeah? You want to take it to the limit? Do this dose of them. Ow! A vast! <clears throat> a vast. Okay, HPs are doing fine. Yeah, suck it. Oh, dude, he dropped a sword. Dude, this guy's fast. Where's my parrot? Dude, I can't even hit him. All right, what's this guy right here? Dude, we don't even need to build this. The uh, Yeah, we don't even need to build the crab sword. We've got the crab sword. Okay, let's put that guy over here like so. We'll drop that meat. Look at this thing. Whew. Oh, feels good in the hand. I think that's cooked meat. Oh, and crystals. Wait, are these the good crystals? I think they dropped one. So now we have some more shards here. And whoa, 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 whoa. And we have cooked meat now. Let's go ahead and eat some of that. 10 hunger. Okay, these guys are just spawning. That's very, very strange. It's like a rat spawning area or something. So we have to build a fire pit in order to utilize the uncooked meat. Right now, since we're in this area, we have a lot more berries. We will take advantage of that as well. Let's grab all of these guys over here. Okay, so we're doing great. Uh, we're going to move away from the, the area. Well, let's get some food. We're going to move away from the rat spawning area here. Dude, I really, really need a fire. Oh, wait. Is that a fire right there? Dude, hold on. Don't break that fire, dude. Okay, wait. More cooked food. Oh, all sorts of stuff things are happening. Hold on. Dude, eggs? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Explosion! Feathers, boners. Okay, so many things right now, guys. So many things. All right, let's drop all of that. Actually, okay, I'm, I don't know. I, I think I saw in there that it said that there's gonna need, there's gonna be a need for fuel. Let's grab all of this now. These are the, that's the cooked steak. Grab that. I don't even have room for coconuts. Let me see here. So, how does this work? Okay, right click to swap. Okay, and then we need to put in fuel. Can I put in a stick for fuel? A stick gives me two fuel. Can I put in a dead rat for fuel? What? Dead rats are fuel? How many sticks does it take? Okay, we have one. Okay, let's see here. Let, let me see here. Let me put let me put some fuel in here. I want to see how much it's, this takes. Because this goes down all the time. Okay, ready? Let's wait for 20. 20. It takes eight fuel. Okay, that's a lot of sticks. Uh, we probably don't want to use sticks even. We probably want to use dead rats. Or maybe we try to figure out a way to utilize, like cut down some trees, use some logs probably. I mean, if you can use dead rats for fuel, you can probably use logs for fuel. Uh, we only have a couple more though. We could just use more sticks since we're in this menu. Put that up inside of there. So this will be a decent amount of food. And we got this. Now we just blow on water. Tons of food. That should be enough to do two more. So we'll grab this guy right here. And quickly. All right, there we go. So that's eight steaks. Ladies and gentlemen, technological advancements. We're in the protein. 
I got the crystals. We got the crystals. We got some food. We got some water. We're doing pretty good. We're going to head back over here. We're going to run. Look at this, man. Look at this guy run. He runs like the T-2000 Terminator guy. T-2000? Was that it? Anyway. All right. So over here now, we've got our flare. Let's go ahead and just switch it over like this. And then we have to go into the deep water, remember? It had to be like 15 deep or something like that. So we'll pop over here. Oh, now it's not as deep. And then now it is deep. All right, right there. So we're going to chill. We're going to chill out here for a second. Place that guy. And then the submarine boat deal should come. Where are you? There you are. What a beautiful double boat action you got going on there, bud. All right. Talk to me. I saw your flare from the depths. What is it that you need? Shop travel. Travel dark water aisle. Dude, do you guys remember the pirates of was the pirates of dark water? Wasn't it? Travel? Oh, you guys, is this the thing? Health 100 hydration 120. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It gave us full hydration and full food. Bum da da dum bum da da bum. I think it was. That was not too shabby. And then our cursor's back, which is a little bit weird. There we go. Oh, do we can see underwater? Oh my god, I want to like cheese the game right now and see what what does it look like underwater? Oh, it would be so much cooler since this is a submarine. If we can actually watch it, I think it's going through. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I think it's going through the ground, so they maybe don't want you to see that. Also, with a game that's this watery, why isn't it just a boat that floats on the surface? It's a boat game. It's really weird, isn't it, that there's like a submarine there? I hope this area is cool. Dude, there's a meteor or something. What the hell is that? Okay. Meteor. There's this little island. It looks like... Getting some Valheim vibes there. With like, maybe it was a turtle, but I don't think that that's the case. Okay. I don't know if it's just because it's turning to night. But it, uh... Feels like we're going to a dangerous place. Discovered dark water aisles. Close escape. He's done it. All right, we're going to come in here for a landing and see. This is where the meteorite landed, I think. Dude, it's going to be dark and full of terrors right here. Oh, I'm done. All ashore set me, of course. Okay. Oh, okay then. <laughs> see you later, bud. Thanks for the ride, bud. Jeez, that was uh, abrupt. Can we get up over here? Okay, what do we got going on over here? A whole new world, so... Different trees. These are not palm trees. These are pine trees, it looks like to me. And then the there's crystal deals on the bottom. Some mushrooms. Pick up... What was even that? That guy right here, oyster mushroom. Mushroom used in various simple recipes must be prepped before cooking. Okay, we always need space in our inventory, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop that. There's the chicken. There's these blue crystal deals. Oh, it looks like there's water coming from them. Oh, you know what? Remember in the crafting... Oh, what's this? Bamboo? Sounds like bamboo. Okay, this takes a long time to cut. As it would, bamboo is a very robust building material. All right, so we picked up fire grass... These are definitely bamboo. What does it just say down there? There's like a lot of information. Uncommon wood found in non-tropical regions. Okay, hold on. Let's just uh, make sure we keep a, some slots open in our inventory. Okay, this is very, very interesting. Um, one small chink in the armor. I have not seen a palm tree around here. And the only way we get water in this game is by cutting down palm trees to get coconuts. So, oh, hello. Also, there's a green thing over there, which I think is a slime, which reminds me of Dragon Warrior for the original Nintendo. And that's very exciting to me. All right, so we got a person over here. What was that? I just heard something over there. What are you all about, bud? Hello, I don't get many visitors this way. What can I do for you? Mission. Oh, hello. Funny meeting someone else around these parts. This is quite the place, isn't it? I love it out here in the wild. So man can be free and do what he wants. And when I want to unlock these here Titan Stone Ruins. And what I want to do is unlock these Titan Stone Ruins. This site actually has specific name, the Titan Gate Ruins. 
You see the Titan Gate? From what I can decipher from the ruins... From the ruins is an ancient device that was used to corral the Titans. I think that's coral, not coral. Coral! Uh, I want to keep them from wandering where they please and wreaking havoc like they do. It is my goal to lock these monsters up so uh, the world can be at peace again. That's awesome! Mission. Mission complete. My brother's shoe. Uh, what is... Okay, something just moved or something on the side of the screen. What is this? You were sent by my brother to show me something? Yes! A Titan relic? I have seen one of these before. They unlock things around the Titan Stone ruins. This is pivotal to my research! Since you helped my brother with his research, I could use your help solving this puzzle here. The puzzle centers around the pedestal at the top of the ruins. According to the picture around the ruins... You say ruins too much. We will need to power the pedestal, place a key in the pedestal, and then point it to a point in the deep ocean to reveal the switch for the Titan Gate. There are other symbols around the pedestal that might hold clues to solving the puzzle. You may need to craft things in order to do this as well. Uh, it is best for you to set up your own base of operations somewhere on the island. Okay, now talk. Were you able to figure out the puzzle? No. Okay, so can I access this? Can I access this? Okay, what? Dude, that tree's moving! Did you just see that? What is that? It's a boar. Did you see that? There's a boar. That tree was moving. The daytime is coming and things look freaking beautiful up here. And then as far as these ruins go, he's talking about these ruins uh, a lot. I don't see any. Oh, there they are. Maybe. Are these the ruins over here? Let's take a look. Okay. There's slimes all over here. Discover Titan Gate power source. Okay, I'm trying to jump up here. It's going to be great one day. Okay. There's a water droplet symbol here and here. And then this is the thing. And then there's these pedestals. Oh, there's a question mark over here. Most of it has been worn away, but what you can make out, the Titan Gate will activate when a large crystal is placed on the pedestal and is pointing to another... And it is pointing to another key location. Wow! All right. This is very, very interesting. Now, I think the base of operations is probably a good bet here. Let's maybe pop over here. Let's get our sword out. Let's maybe pop over here and kick the slime's butt. You want to go? Wait, what? Die. Die. Oh, shoot. Shot. No, wait. Oh, no. Can't kill it. Weird. Okay. No, it's just kicking my butt. All right. We're just going to leave that guy alone. Uh. Okay. We can't kill the slimes. That looks like one of the blue golem rocks that we saw before. Dude, the trees move. Okay, there's a huge amount of stuff things going on in this game right now. And I got to tell you what, guys. We're going to find out all about it in the next episode. Thanks for coming to hang out with me today for another episode of Breakwater. A lot of progress today, and I had a good time doing it with you. Uh, make sure if you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and show your support. Huge shout out to everybody who helps support the channel on Patreon. Um, you guys are unbelievable. I really, really, truly appreciate your support. Um, thank you very, very much. And I will see you guys in the next one. May the stuff and things be with you.